video of our playlist. If you like the content, do like and subscribe the channel. So today we will learn about the stages of the HR analytics. As we all know that the analytics is a broader term which covers the different pillars of the analytic model. But now the each pillar plays a very important role in how your business can better understand what the data reveals. As we have a big data, right? So with the analytic, they can understand in a better way and can use those insight to meet their objectives. Now, see, the data without any analysis doesn't make much sense. But the analytics means a lot on a different things depending on where you sit on the data. So understanding what, where, why and how data drives or help us to make a better decisions and enable, help, enable us to the organizations to meet their goals or the achievements. Right? So the stages of the, we were talking about the stages. So we have a four stages. The first one is the descriptive stage or the descriptive analysis. The second one is the diagnostic. The third one is the predictive. And the fourth one is the prescriptive. So these are the four stages of the actual analytic or the analysis we can say. So today we will discuss about the first the descriptive analysis. The descriptive analysis gave the answer what happened. Right? So it help us to understand the overall performances or the productivity. It will help us to answer the question like that. What was the overall productivity last year or the last quarter? How many customers churned in the last quarter? Right? So it focuses, basically it focuses on the data which is already available. So it works with the past things, right? Whatever that happens in the past, it basically works with the descriptive. For example, if a company wants to estimate about the turnover rates in the future, he or she need to be focused on the past data to learn the basic causes of the departure of the employees. After that, he can make the better decision to reduce the turnover. Right? So, descriptive stage is very important because it will give us the data first. Right? Now, the second one is the diagnostic. The diagnostic stage is the similar to the descriptive stage. It also uses the past data. But it will help us to answer the question why it happened. Right? So it will help us to answer the why it happened. Questions like such as uh, why the productivity, overall productivity reduces or decreases. Why the employees left last year or the last quarter? So this kind of questions will be answered in the diagnostic analytics. So I hope you have cleared about these two analytic stages. So both work with the past data. It will answer what happened actually and the second one is the diagnostic. It will answer you the reason or the causes behind the thing happened in the last year.
or the in the past. The third point is the predictive analysis. Predictive analysis is the form of the modern or the advanced analytics, which determines the what is likely to happen. Why? And it is based on the historical data or the existing data. We can say that. The predictive analysis basically helps the companies to address the cases such as determine the credit risk, then to identify the reason or the sign of the customer dissatisfaction. The third one is to identify the maintenance issues. So basically the predictive analysis helps the companies to solve the problems. Whatever they are facing in a previous years, right? Now, the predictive analysis follows some steps. The first of these steps, first is required the collecting the data. Once the data is collected, what, what we need, we need to organize the data in order to allow in the data modeling system. The third one is the Cleanse the data. Cleanse the data means what the data is required and what is not. After that, we will check the or we review the quality of the data. And this third or the last point is the determine the quality or the determine the objectives of the analytics. Now, the fourth point is the prescriptive analytics. So, prescriptive analytics is the last stage or the final pillar of the HR analytics or the analytics model. Why? In the prescriptive analysis, it requires the strong competencies, strong competencies in a descriptive analysis, then diagnostic analysis, then a predictive analysis. So, the prescriptive analysis is totally based on the these three pillars. So, prescriptive analysis basically helps the companies to address the cases such as automated adjustment in a product pricing based on the demand of the product or the external factors we can say that. I hope these stages of the HR analytic or the analytics models is covered or the cleared.